So here you are jumping out at high altitude, coasting in there and opening that parachute at very low altitude, but at least you had a nuclear weapon attached to your back. <laughs> Yeah, that's not risky at all. No, no. No, no. Yeah, was, I, I, I was very lucky. I was not a natural jumper. I learned it for the military, both jump school and halo school. But I was on a team of ex super ex experienced people. Uh, there's a jump community and culture. If you really get into skydiving and, and high, halo jumping, you can meet people. And I did meet people with thousands and thousands of jumps. But when you're out of that plane, you're on your own, right? You've got to deploy that canopy or get your reserve into, into gear. And I've had and I've had malfunctions. I've had to use my reserve, but but you have a real sense of uh, safety given the caliber of the people that were on the team. I was the least experienced by far, to be honest. But at least you were doing it at night. Yeah, it was at night. Yeah, with <laughs> oxygen, exactly. And, uh, and and I don't care what Crazy. goggles they provided you in the day; they always would fog up. So you're trying to look at that yeah. altimeter frantically to make sure you had the right altitude.